um, we're going to bring up Susha Graham. Susha Graham was part of the wrongful death sentence of California, but after three years on death row, he continued to fight for his innocence. He was finally released in March of 1981. I missed the last press conference and I apologize, but I just want to start off by saying thank you to everyone that's here, the press, the people, that means the most, and especially to the students who have been organizing this spring break for I don't know how many years I've been volunteering and paying my own way to come down here and be a part with you all. And I'm going to continue to fight and be with you all and tell this is all in it. But since I've been here, I've experienced some you know, very troubling things and exciting things. But I'm a part of a group called Witness to Innocence. We all exonerees that get together twice a year. And it's been very therapeutic for me as a person to be able to meet the exonerees every twice a year. And sometimes when I get into a depression, I say, I'm on my mind, I see my boys, right? So I always look forward to them. And I just want to thank our brother, all the brothers, for coming out and finding Texas necessary to fight. My friends, this is what we're talking about. A human being that is on Texas death row. Jeff Wood. A person who have a great case of innocence. And he's just one among many people that is on Texas death row. And from the bottom of my heart to be with your brother being on death row, we all got to unite and fight a little better. I was born and raised in a little small town. You've heard my story because I've been coming to Texas. And I grew up under segregation, and after I grew up under segregation, I ran away from the South and ran off to California. Joined gang, became a gang member, and from that, I evolved on the Civil Rights Movement and the Black Panther Party. I was raised by the Panthers. Many people say I was a member of the Panther Party. I was raised in prison as an 18-year-old boy by the Black Panther Party. And as long as I live, I continue to carry not only the spirit of the Panther Party, but the spirit of Americans who want to fight for social justice and make sure people like Jeff Woods will not be executed and will bring an end to capital punishment. But my greatest experience came when I went to prison as a young man it was the education that brought me to where I'm at now. It is the most important thing. I became a student of history. When I went off to prison as a young man, I couldn't read and write. But after I went to prison, those who you all despise, all those that you all call criminals, they taught me everything that I know. Some of the prisons that had been there for 30 and 40 years wasn't on death row. They said, we couldn't do the right thing, but we're going to make sure you don't end up like us. Well, I like to think that I didn't end up like them after that long talk. I ended up on death row. But I went on to death row, standing up for belief and a conviction that stands dear to me today. I have no regrets for the 12 years I spent in prison, for the years that I spent on death row. I was a political prisoner. I was tried in 1973 behind a bulletproof glass. But God, you couldn't even walk in my courtroom when I was going to trial without going to detectives. It's like you go through the uh, airport. And there was you all <coughs> behind a bulletproof glass. The prosecutor had on <laughs> bulletproof fences. And the jury was told to overlook all of this. That's not <laughs> important. But they was trying to make me look like I was a human being. I was a young African, and I was proud to be a young African. And I kind of contributed to my own conviction, because I stood up with pride, and didn't have no regrets about who I were and what I have been participating in. I was a part of a political movement, and I'm still part of the political movement today, and I ask you people to join that movement. 
in the ending, I would just like to say thank you all for having me here in Texas, and I look forward for the next few days to be with you all in full <coughs> battle to end capital punishment, to end the law of parties. The law of parties is one of the worst policies, worse than the death penalty itself. But don't stop at the law of parties. Before all these people ended up on death row, they went through a system called the criminal justice system. And that's what we got to attack. We got to think of the criminal justice system in terms of revolution, change totally. It ain't about reform for me. We got to rewrite the whole thing. There's too many of our young children. Black population in Texas is probably, what, 11%. But look at who's on death row. Black and brown. We got to unite and save us all. And when I say abolition, and when I say I'm against the death penalty, and I know you all know about the Texas 7, I'm for the Texas 7 not to be executed. They are human beings. They are part of that law of courts. I'm including everybody. So I want to thank you all. I'm going to leave you with my words that a condemned man left me, and I always leave it when I step to the side because it kind of make, make me think of how my life was and how I'm so appreciative. And it goes something like this. The most happiest of peoples don't necessarily have the best of things. They just make the best out of what comes their way. Happiness comes to those who struggle, those who have fought, and surely to those who have searched. For only they can appreciate the importance of those who have touched their lives. We can't go on well in life, Texas, in America, until we overcome our past failures, heartaches, and disappointments. <coughs> The most brightest of futures would always be based on a forgiven or a forgotten path. My friends, when you were born, everyone around you would probably smile and you were crying. Go on out and live your life so that when you die, you will be the one that is smiling and everyone around you. <laughs> Thank you. And one last thing, Texas. The two mountains that are four apart will never meet. But a dedicated people who are struggling for the same distinction will. I see you at the table of abolition. Woo!